What is up to the Scholar Sky Gang? It's your girl, Full Last Sky, and I'm back with another video. Now, before we get started, I'm going to need you to like this video. Start what you are doing and like this video. If you want a subscriber, subscribe now. Touch that bell and be notified every time I post. Be a loyal subscriber and an active subscriber. Today, we got Kodak Black back in the office. Now, what's been going on with him? I do not know. But my guy is wild. Something is wrong. He tripping. He took the wrong drugs. So lately, he's wanting to have sex with Young and May, with Nicki Minaj. He's been drinking his snot. He's just all over the place. He's very vocal. Is he looking for attention? I don't know, but we're going to find out. Let's get into it. See, young nigga, I'm the hardest rapper in the game, I promise. Like... Man, you talk about me, you should, like, you should put me in a category of, like, Paul, Big, Nas, them niggas, like, you feel me? Like, really listen to my shit. I don't care about how I act, like, on the ground, like, you feel me? He said at his own mouth to put him in a category with Nas, Pac, and Biggie. Not only that, he said the only reason we hyped Pac up or Biggie up is because they died. That's a mouthful. Now, am I trying to change his opinion about himself? No. If you really believe in your mind that you're that great of a rapper, believe what you want to believe. You know, I ain't going to shoot you down. But I stopped taking this man serious a long time ago when he aggressively drunk the fuck out his snot. That was nasty. Now, is he... His intentions are attention-based. Yeah, pretty much they are. So, once he got big-headed and said that they need to put him in a category with Park, Michael had to say something. This is what he said. Kodak Whack. I mean, Kodak Black, the non-rapping rapper, said that he should be looked at in the same category as Nas, Tupac, and Biggie. He also said that Tupac and Biggie only became legends because they died. Duke, you're not dope. You're not a dope rapper. You have no skill set. You have no flow. You have no vernacular. Without the face tats, the wild hairdo, and the short stint in prison, you'd be working at UPS. You know, like Biggie said, don't be mad UPS is hiring. That would be you. No disrespect to UPS. Comparing yourself to those dudes is a guy playing basketball in his backyard shooting air balls comparing himself to an NBA player. You're not even a top 10 mumble rapper. Get out of here with that crazy. Now, I do feel like he went about this the wrong way. How was that black people business? He calling these white people crackers. And the white people are in the crowd cheering. It's racist. Had it been the other way around, say if Eminem went on stage and say, Hey, y'all niggas stay out of white folks business, niggas. It would have been a whole riot, my guy. Plus, Kodak, come on. Keep it a book. Your fan base, they're white. The ones that buy your album, they're white. Most of your supporters is white. Be careful what you say, my guy. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe. Again, like, comment, subscribe. Touch that bell and be notified every time I post. And we're out. Let's get it.